In this video, we're going to take you through how to do a standard measurement in square foot. We're going to talk a bit about how to do deductions. And from here, we're also going to cover off a number of tips and tricks. Now, to begin, we're going to start here in the estimate costing screen. And essentially, I'm going to start by going ahead and finding a category in which I want to do my square foot takeoff in. So for this example, I'm going to do a insulation takeoff. And as we've covered off in a previous video, to edit the estimate costings here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the edit category. And I'm just going to simply pick up a category which I already have a item being cost for. But from here, to launch my takeoff, I'm going to hit the little takeoff tool here. But before I do that, it's important to note that the unit of measurement here is going to drive which takeoff we're going to do. So if this is blank uh, or anything other than SF, we will want to make sure it does say SF here in order to help build exact under no, uh, to know we're going to do this square foot takeoff. So once it says that, we'll hit the right angle triangle here and do the takeoff tool. And into the takeoffs we go. Now to start, I'm going to go ahead and jump down to the page in which I've already uploaded and scaled. And we're going to start by doing a takeoff for this wall right down here. So to navigate around my plans, I'm going to start by hitting, uh, clicking on this little orange circle, giving that a click and drag in. And from here to move around the plans, all I need to do is simply click and hold my mouse. And as long as I'm holding my mouse down, I can move myself around. So now I'll take my finger off the mouse, reposition the mouse further down on the screen, and again, click and hold to move myself around the uh, page. Now, once I have the area square in my sight, so I'm gonna bring your attention to the top left-hand side. And starting with over here, these four buttons are essentially going to control uh, the shape in which we're gonna do our takeoff in. So we have a polygon shape. This will be a multi-sided shape, essentially, where we uh, end, where we start, and it'll be the one I'm gonna start using here today. We also have a rectangle tool, which you'll see me use in a moment. And we also have an ellipse, and we also can use the line too. Now, using this line tool is actually what we refer to as our vertical square foot takeoff, and we're going to cover that off in a separate video. From there, I can go ahead and do things like change the color of the takeoff. I can add an angle or a surface pitch if I want. I can also do my deduction, which you'll see me do in a moment. And lastly, I have the ability to show or hide our labels. And in this case, uh, this is currently turned on and we can tell because it's this blue color. Whereas if I give it a click, it'll go sort of this grayish black and that's just indicating to me that the labels are turned off. But for today, I'm gonna click it and leave it on so you can see the math unpack. Now to begin, I'm going to find a corner, any corner, and go ahead and single click. And when I do that, you're going to see this tag will appear and this green bubble will appear as well. And essentially from there, all I need to do is begin to click around each of the corners of the plants. Now, if I can't see or I can't fully see the area in which I want to do a takeoff for as I'm mid takeoff, no problem. All I need to do is simply click and hold my mouse. And as long as I'm holding my mouse down, I can reorientate myself. And then from there, taking my finger off the mouse button, bringing it up to the desired corner, and just resuming my single clicks. Now, if you accidentally click in the wrong corner, that's fine as well, not a problem. All you need to do is simply hit the escape button on your keyboard, and it will just undo the last click that you've worked on. So I'll click and hold, move myself around to this side of the plan, click, and then uh, to finish using the, with the polygon, I'm just going to click back into the green circle, and that essentially will complete the takeoff for this particular item. Now, on that, obviously, we have windows in uh, this takeoff area, so we need to do the deductions because they're obviously not going to be inclusive of this particular item. So to do that, I'm now going to turn my deduction tool on, and I could stay with the polygon tool, nothing wrong with that. But in this case, I'm actually going to jump to the rectangle tool just because it's a little bit easier because they're rectangular. And so now I'm just going to simply click in a corner to start, bring my mouse down to the bottom corner and simply click again. And you'll see here that it'll essentially be a bit of a darker color. And in the label here, you're going to see it's going to subtract, in this case, 28 square feet. And I'll just continue to go around on all the pages for which I need to do my deduction for. And just like that, we're done. Now, in the real world, obviously, this material would encompass both other areas on my plans as well as potentially different pages. So I can easily and seamlessly navigate across all the different areas and continue to do my takeoffs for that item. However, once you are done, you can go ahead and hit accept and save, and that will then automatically populate our quantity in there. And just like that, we've completed our first square foot takeoff. Mm -hmm.